City Entertainment. Rabbi is not crazy. Dad likes sleeping. Remember, he's a bricklayer and does menial jobs. He must have been tired. Dark no, closer. They have to decide not to need the job. Oh. Do you shop? Need the water. Be sure say don't run down. I don't think you should. I sell them both. Yes. One grass, one grass for that land. Don't, I don't think you should. Be sure. I finish it. I guess I would be this business. Ah, uh, uh, so I proud me one day. You see a big lad like me, not there. I don't think we start. Go to go to finish. I'm gonna be the money again. I mean, not two thousand. Be sure say don't have anything on. Trust. Trust me. Thank you, sir. What big? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Wake him. Wake up, dad. Oh, what is it again? You kids. What is it? Can you just imagine? I came, I, I was just dreaming. I went to work for somebody and he was about to pay me. Oh, you spoiled my day spiritually. Dad, I've been thinking of something. I mean, a puzzle on my mind. Puzzle on your mind? That is why you came to wake me. Puzzle on your mind. What is that puzzle? Dad, as a matter of fact, we need an explanation. You need an explanation? Over what? We need the answer here and now. Answer here and now. We have seen some of your friends. The other one is doctor. The other is a lawyer. And we have seen the other one, a police officer. Dad, why did you end up a bricklayer? Hey, <laughs> these kids, you always surprise me. Why am I a bricklayer? That is what you're asking me. Can you defend yourself? I should defend myself. Can you imagine? Let me tell you, people. When I was a small boy like you, people, I remember those years. My father will take me to a very distant farm, about seven to eight kilometers. We will go there and harvest cassava. And after that, I will carry it on my head back home. I never asked my dad, Dad, why is it that your farm is so far? Dad, why is it that, um, that um, you, you are a poor man? I never asked that. And here... You kids are asking me why am I a bricklayer? <laughs> Dad, you've not answered our question. Oh, I've not answered your question. You want me to answer your question? Why are you a bricklayer? All fingers are not equal. Come on, Dad. If the lawyer is this, the doctor is this, and the police is this. Then dad, you are this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm this, eh? I'm this, eh? JJ, come, let me whisper into your ears. Come. Next time. Next time. Next time. Don't talk that way. Entertaining you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Follow us on Facebook now. Thank you. City Entertainment. Rabbi is not crazy. <clears throat> Rabbi. Why is it that when kids do what adults don't like, they shout, yell, or even spank we, the kids? Because we are your parents. Just that? Yes, adults must take care of kids. We have to correct them. Wait, Rabbi. So anyone who default should be corrected, right? Exactly. Absolutely. 
Then, when you or mom is, what should we do? Or who corrects you? Our parents corrected us when we were kids. But we know that even when adults do something wrong, they don't even apologize to anyone. They command kids a lot, and that is unfair. Because I am your father. Do you hear me? I am your father. Now, everybody, Get inside the house and get something done right now! What did you say exactly at first to Rabbi? I just simply asked, why do adults get so angry with kids when they offend them? That was it. Rabbi has never been this angry. I wish adults will know that we kids endure a lot for them. Exactly, like their intimidating heights. And their loud voices. Just a minute. We must find the answer on how to handle adults. Plus, their endless messages and house chores. They will say, do this, do that, do this, do that. They don't even know that kids get tired. Though Rabbi at times assists in preparing our meals. But he is angry this morning. These books are too heavy. I wish someone would help me to carry them. Okay, everyone. Now, let us find the answer on how to best handle adults. So that they can understand kids. Right? Right! I think that will be excellent. I'll find out too. Hey, all of you, come back. So now what next? I guess he is gentle now. No adults can be trusted. Come on, guys, let's go. I understand all what you people are saying. I know it is not easy to be a child or a kid. I was once that way. And everything I know today and I instruct you, most of it is what I learned from my parents. And I am expected to pass that on to you. But one thing you must know, as long as your parents are alive, listen to them. They have a lot to impact in you. No sound parent will want to deceive his or her child. As for our height, you someday will come to be like us or taller than us. Whatever made you angry this morning, I take responsibility. Kids, do not wait for your parents to apologize to you. Because taking you out and buying you gifts could be some sort of apology. And for you, parents, don't think because they are kids, they have no feelings or will. You can be also humble enough to apologize to your kids when you are wrong, even when they shouldn't expect it. I will not fail to surprise you guys. Who care for these? Yes! Take. Thank you. And you? Thank you. I think you are the best dad. Hmm. I think so. When I'm done, I'll decide. <laughs> Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. Have you not subscribed? Please do. We will not fail to always bring creative content 
that will help you, your family, and your kids. Do not fail to subscribe to Brabai. It's not crazy. Peace. Go City Entertainment! Your Excellency, you are welcome, sir. Thank you so much. Now that you have seen my achievements, hope when you assume office you will refund my state the money we spent. I don't understand. You mean? I mean refund my state the used money for these roads and bridges. But they are your own roads and you use them. Excuse me, sir. Yes, you build them for yourself. These are federal roads, sir. I owe you nothing. Pop, <coughs> pop. But sir, I mean no call. <laughs> Go City Entertainment. JJ, Merem, you people are here. Hello, Dad. It's not hello, Dad. The first thing you say is good morning, sir. That is the first thing you say. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah? You don't answer me, yeah. You answer me, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. When I was like you people, like three of you, those days, I was taking first position in my class. Oh, come on, Dad. That is why we are here. <laughs> you see, let me tell you three of you, back those days in school, my brain was very sharp. I normally take first position. In fact, when a teacher asks question in class, before he finish asking the question, I have raised my hand up. Boom! I was super intelligent. Dad, that is why we came to find out. For what? To discuss and indirect why some persons are... Dad, just tell us the truth. Yes, this was how intelligent I was back then. Dad, well, no wasting time. And what is all this? Dad, just listen for once. Okay, you can go ahead, but just know I'm your father. Do you hear me? I am your father. This is the result of grammar school. Amankwa, 1965. The results of Rabbi. Mwa Fibo. Hey, kids, um, don't read this in public, okay? We can negotiate it. Do you understand me? We can negotiate it. Okay, then, what's the deal? Ah! How about this? You know, it's going to be a deal. I gave you these. You give me that. And you don't read it in the public. Do you understand me? Is that going to be a deal? You see, we are in the public. You don't read that in the public. Because once you read it in the public, I am screwed. Dad, bribery is a sin. Bribery is a sin, truthfully. But this is called negotiation. This is what I'm negotiating with you. Okay? So, it's going to be a win-win. Hold this. Thank you. Good. And yours? Thank you. Okay, you have this. Thank you. So, I've done my own part. So, you give it to me. Dad, wait a minute. Okay. Just give it to me. Arithmetics. F9, English language F9, further math F9, physical education lower credit. Dad, the list of F9 is endless. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you don't laugh at your father because academic those days was tougher. Now, I think we have an understanding that I give you the lollipop and you will give me that. <sighs> If I lay my bare hands on you, your mom will not recognize you anymore. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please encourage us. My name is Merem. Please just do it for me. Subscribe. Follow us on Facebook. Give us your like. Bye. Thank you. Rabbi is not crazy. You are what it is. That will not help me with my assignment again. As usual, he's sleeping. Never. You will not do my assignment again. Hello, you're back. Hello, welcome. How are you, boy? Mommy, we are not fine. Ah, what happened now? Look at what that helped me to solve. I failed all. Hey, failed all. I told you dad has no brain for mathematics. Hey, mama, your dad has brain. He, he has brain. It's just that he's just a common brick layer. Who do you expect? Hmm? Hey, see, you got it in. You have to explain this thing. You have to explain it. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See, he has even made someone. I see it. Hey! Ned! Is anything the matter? Hey! JJ! Merem! You people are back from school! What is happening? Any problem? Look at... Look at what you did to this student's assignment book! Huh? Let me see. Why now? Dad, I failed everything you wrote. Dad, same with me. Dad, I scored zero in all. Who marked your answer? Your teachers are not intelligent. What? It is you who is not intelligent. Yes. Well, Kit, I hear you. You have just waited for me to come back from the market. Eh? Now, now, see your results. See your results. They should have known how to mark it. Teachers these days are lazy. They are not intelligent. Really? Truthfully, Dad does not know it. Dad, you will not help me again in my assignment. So I should not do your homework again. Merem, Jason, Zamzam, thank you, three of you. Now go to market woman. Give her assignment and see the result. I believe with me, they will never fail all. Okay now. Eh, uh, kids, just go in, right? Go in. Go out of your uniform and come in. You know, your dad, your dad is just a common brick player. Just go in. Okay. Why are you looking at me like that? Eh, uh, I want to remind you. I want to remind you of uh, the shoes and clothes you say you buy for. Hey! Is that why you're smiling now? 
He tell you running around, cha 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 cha. You didn't remember. It's now you are remembering because you have seen money. Abi, inu piya mo ya magi no soko. You have seen money. Make everybody hold himself for. If we don't, she don't see money. Pay my bill. I buy it for you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Follow us on Facebook now. Thank you for watching. No City Entertainment. Rabbi is not crazy. I want to have a church. I want to make sure it's a church. Dad, what are you doing? It's like Dad is a born again. Rabbi, any problems? I'm about to quit acting now. I'm about to quit acting now. I just feel I should just start a church. That is just it. Why? Now our comedy is gaining recognition. You want to quit just like that? Hey, I'm very serious about this. If you were serious, what have you kept in place? Well, I'm about thinking on how to purchase some chairs, then raise some money, build a hall, and um, um, then gradually members will begin to come. Oh, come on, Rabbi. A lot has changed in running a church today. This is 21st century. And what about 21st century? Jesus said, go and preach the good news. He who preached the gospel must live by the gospel. And for me, that is just it. No, Rabbi. If you limit yourself to that, you end up broke. Meaning what? As a modern pastor, I expect you to own a private jet, wear expensive suits and jewelries. That is what is in vogue today. And your church should have AC. Nobody wants to stay in a hot environment. But Jesus preached in the open air. If you want your church to grow up, you must do the following. 1. Allow the women to carry long hair with no hair tie. And then apply good makeup with long nails. Come on kids, this is so outrageous. I cannot allow this in this church. Rabbi, remember the guys are not left out of this. Just allow them to have dreadlocks if they wish. You know that some would like to sag. What you need is more members. I cannot allow this in this church. Are you saying these people cannot become candidates for heaven? No, boy. What it means is that if you have accepted to be a Christian, there is a code of conduct God expects of you. Once you must come to the church. Some days should be set out for kids to party. Play their favorite music. Wearing our costumes with our favorite toys. Come on kids, the church I'm about to run, I cannot tolerate this. Then, what do your church look like? Remember, this is 21st century. No, it's not my church. What I'm preparing for that church is that in that church, it will be intensive praying and fasting, then praise and worship, then we read the gospel and preach sermon to the people. This is my dream about this church. Okay, will women wear trousers to your church? No. Will women be encouraged to wear mini skirts? No. Will kids have time to party with their dolls? And go to picnics? No. Kids on Sunday either go to Sunday school classes or catechism classes so that they can learn about God the more. Then, let's stick with our comedy and forget about having a church because the competition is high. Many men of God are just competing with themselves and the gospel is not well preached to the people. Well, okay kids, if this is what it takes to begin a modern church these days, Let's continue with our comedy. <laughs> okay, JJ, go and get the camera. <laughs> Why?
like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell for more. Go City Entertainment. Rabbi is not crazy. Dad, I see some persons wearing green, white, green. What are we celebrating today? Oh, we're supposed to be celebrating Nigerian independence today of 1960. What is independence? Independence is the freedom, our freedom from the colonial masters. Who is a colonial master? Colonial masters are, um, um, how will I? It's like this answer is difficult for you, dad. No, 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 no. It is not like the question is difficult for me. Colonial masters are like those who beat you up and they pet you. They beat you up, they pet you. <laughs> you understand? That is how colonial masters function. Wow, is that possible? Oh, it's possible, oh, oh. <laughs> you will not understand. So, Dad, do you love the colonial masters? Yes, so I love them, oh. Well, they are good, bad, a little bit of both. They cut away your raw materials and they package them and bring them back, sell it in some sort of subsidized prices. Dad. You mean you love them? The colonial masters are better than those who have been ruling Nigeria since independence till now. Dad, so dad, what is our problem? Our problem is that nobody who can name those who signed the amalgamation. <laughs> Meaning what? Dad, the light has gone. Oh, come on, boy. We are used to it. This is part of the over 60 years experience. Happy independence. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell for more. Please encourage us. My name is Merem. Please just do it for me. Subscribe. Follow us on Facebook. Give us your like. Bye. Thank you.